what is going on chums and welcome back to a game with chums today we're doing another unboxing it's been a few months i think the last one i did was the uh the endwalker one there as you can see today we've got the i the somnium files nirvana initiative collector's edition which actually isn't out in the uk the game itself isn't out until next friday so like six days from the time i'm recording this and also, it is not getting a physical collector's edition, or any edition in fact. No physical copy at all for Xbox in the UK or Europe, I think. Um, so I ordered this from Amazon US. And boy, was that a roller coaster. I ordered it like, I don't know, nearly a year ago. Can't remember exactly when the uh, collector's edition was announced, but the game itself was announced pretty much a year ago to the day as of uh, recording this. I think the collector's edition was announced around about the same time and I pre-ordered it as soon as it went available on Amazon US. And then along with a load of other people, my order got cancelled. And then like, I don't know, a week, two weeks ago, they relisted it for like 20 minutes and I managed to snag another one. And it's just turned up like six days before the game actually comes out in the UK, which is nice. So we're going to take a look, see what's in the box and uh, explore it together. And I have already removed the cellophane and cracked the box open just to make this easier to do with one hand. So let's jump in. Okay, let's get a closer look at the box. The art on the front is amazing. There's Mizuki with Iba's eyeball. Obviously, spoilers if you haven't played the first one. Just the logo on the top. Name on the side. Probably the name on the other side as well, yep. And then the back. And there is the contents. So pop-up parade Iber figure. Art book, which I think is just a smallish paperback art book. And then the official soundtrack, which I think is actually a proper soundtrack rather than just like a sampler thing. But we'll get in and have a look. Oh. Creasing on the box, damn it. That's not good. But there is Iber's little hamster form, and I guess that is Tama, the new AI with the other main character in this sequel. Okay, well, you can see Shrimp Girl there. Let's take this out first. This should be all the other stuff. Let's put Iber aside for now. Let's get into this. Okay, so there is the game. I say the cover art looks incredible. Typical Xbox spine. I wish Xbox game spines weren't so boring. I have a shelf full of them and they just all kind of look the same. Some people might like that uniformity. I like them to look a bit different. And then the back of the case is basically the same as the back of the collector's box. Let's put that aside for now. Here is our soundtrack. Upside down. Again, fantastic art. I think that's Ryuki and Tama, the new main, additional main characters this time around. And we have 30 tracks. So yeah, it's a pretty pretty meaty soundtrack. A lot of the time in these collector's editions you get like a 7 to 12 track thing. Which kind of sucks, to be honest. It's almost not worth having. But this is pretty meaty. It's just a shame it's just in like a paper, card, CD wallet thing rather than a proper CD case. That would have been nice, given it's a proper soundtrack. But... You know, I won't complain too much. Here's the art book, again, Mizuki on the cover. It is very thin. Let's have a look. The pages are numbered. Pages are numbered. Not all the way to the end. I'm really struggling with this one-handed thing. Okay, yeah, it's like 28 pages. And then it looks like there's some... Um, 
interview stuff in the back couple of pages. With Uchikoshi and Kozaki. Let's have a very brief look because it's probably spoilers in this. There's all that logo treatments and stuff. I'll say the logo they ended up on looks very good. And there's more interviewee stuff at the beginning as well. And then character design stuff. There's Yuki's pipe. I won't go into any more because there's probably spoilers in there. So let's get to the main event, I guess. Okay, and here is the pop-up parade Iber figure. We will take her out of the box and have a proper look, but before we get to that, I watched a couple of um, unboxings of people in the States when they got their limited edition, and I was a bit disappointed to find out that it was a pop-up parade figure, to be honest, because I've seen these popping up, no pun intended, that was completely unintentional, at anime conventions and stuff, and I honestly thought they look a little bit cheap, and that's kind of the point, they're supposed to be like an affordable figure line, but I've seen them at anime cons and looked at them and thought, oh, they look a bit naff, so I was a bit disappointed when I think found out this one was a pop-up parade figure, but I think the fact that Iber is a reasonably simplistic design might work in its favour because there's not loads of like intricate detail and stuff. So let's get this open and have a look and see what we think. She does look pretty good. The stand is extremely basic, but I guess you'd expect that from a uh, pop-up parade figure. You can see little hamster eyebrow on her shoulder there. Transparent elements look pretty good too. Get in focus, eyebrow. Hair looks pretty good. Huh. Reflective eyebrow. Yeah, to be honest, for a figure that comes with a special edition of the game, which sometimes can be a bit ropey, like the uh, Agnes figure that came with Bravely Default, which was not good, or the Geralt fighting a griffin that came with The Witcher 3, which was an absolute horror show. Uh, this is, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Pop-up parade or no, and uh, you can just see the box is very reflective, but there is a bit of like design in the back of the box. But yeah, that is the I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative Collector's Edition. And uh, let us know down in the comments below if you're going to check it out. If you happen to be on Xbox, like I mainly play on Xbox, it's my main platform, so if I can get a game there, then I will, generally. But um, the, sit the first game is on Game Pass as of last September, so give it a go if you've never played it before. I played it on Game Pass, and also I, I bought the original on Switch when it came out, and for some reason just never got around to playing it. I played like an hour of it. And then when they announced this, and the release started getting closer, I thought, damn, I better actually play it, so I played it on game pass and then I already had the sequel pre at that point because I knew I was going to like it it was just trying to find the time but yeah let me know if you played the original and you're planning on playing this or if your interest has been piqued and you're looking to play the first game and then maybe pick up the sequel until then thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye